Truth for Giulio Reggiani reads the banner. It's been nearly three years since the Italian student's body was found in Egypt. We are now at a very important stage. We won't give up because we have taken a big step forward. We never give up. I want the people in Egypt to know this. We never give up. This was Reggiani while he was in school. He was a Cambridge University graduate student studying trade unions from the American University in Cairo. He was kidnapped in January 2016. A week later, his mutilated body was found on the city's outskirts. The Egyptian government blamed a criminal gang. Rajani's family pointed at security services. Nearly three years on, their lawyer says Italian authorities are investigating five Egyptian policemen and secret service members. She says that's just the beginning. We have 20 names, but many more people are involved. We estimate that up to 40 people are involved because in order to follow Giulio for months, kidnap him and do what they've done to him, many people were needed. Italy and Egypt are walking a diplomatic tightrope over the case. Italy needs justice for a murdered student or not antagonising an important foreign policy partner. In August, the Italian Deputy Prime Minister tried to ramp up pressure in Cairo. I hope that by the end of the year we can get to a breakthrough and that the meeting between the judicial authorities can take place as soon as possible. Both on our side and on the Egyptian one, there's a desire to ask for an acceleration. And now it's the end of the year and no arrests. So Italy has suspended diplomatic talks with the Egyptian parliament and announced the names of their suspects. We waited in silence for almost one year because our prosecutors already had many of those names and many other elements one year ago, and they were presented in Egypt one year ago as well. However, we did not receive any answer. Egyptian officials have repeatedly denied any involvement in Rajani's killing and responded that charges should be based on evidence and not suspicion. Charlotte Ballas, Al Jazeera.